in today's episode, we're just going to play probably the one game today. It's going to be against Arsenal in the Premier League. That is coming up in just a bit. Football 31 and welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2016 with Southampton. If you enjoy uh, the episode, please leave a like and a comment down below. I'm also on Twitter. You can find me at the Chewy Apple and follow or use the hashtag Chewy Apple 31 when sharing with your friends. This is the last episode where we played Watford. I think it was. Mm, yeah, we played Watford. Um, we played against Norwich, 3-2 win. Um, an own goal from them. Shane Long and Wami getting three goals for us and grabbing and Bennett for them. Um we were down for uh, we were down for a bit. Um we went one up one nil up then they equalized. We went two one up, they equalized again, then we got another one they didn't equalize after that. So um I'm happy with that. And the other match that we played was against Man City. We drew one one a three minute goal from David Silver was behind but um, Otto Mendy with an own goal in the 74 to put this back in line, and we got the point out of that. So, um, if we have a look at the competition, this is what the table looks like. Uh, Chelsea are on top with 59 points, Man United in second, Man United and Arsenal equal second. Um, Arsenal have a game in hand, um, which is this game. Um, Man City in fourth, and Liverpool in fifth. We are in seventh, we are still in European qualification, so we go back to the qualifiers again, um, and at the moment Sunderland, West Ham and Aston Villa will be relegated, but as you can see Watford and Bournemouth are both on 28 as a Sunderland, so this could go either way, and still even a team like Newcastle in 13th, a couple of losses, and they're back down into relegation. Even even up here Stoke, probably the bottom half of the table is not safe just yet, um, but here we are in 7th, um, we uh, equal with Norwich, but we have a game in hand, so we could pr easily go to 44 points, which was just on, it's just out of touch here with a win today. So let's get on to the game. I will be with you in a second. So as you can see, before we get on to the game, um, our squad is nearly completely uh, healthy. We almost have a clean bill of health. Um, of course, the only one. The only issue at the moment is Fraser Foster, who is still out. He's, I think he's available to play. Um, two to four weeks with that torn knee ligament. Um, so we'll have him back. We'll have him back for the end of the season. Um, as you can see, four weeks puts him sort of this West Ham game. So he'll be available for probably this Crystal Palace game, but we'll leave it. He'll probably play the last five games of the season, at least. So um, that's good that he's almost back. Um, there are a lot of players that are wanted by clubs. What's as you can see, Sadio Mane is wanted. Um, what? Who's he wanted by? Liverpool and Man City, of course. Um, the big teams. Uh, there are plenty of players here that are wanted. Um, Shane Lone's apparently going on loan. Listed for loan. <laughs> uh, Dustin Tadic wanted. Hesketh wanted. Ward Browns wanted. Um. Gazaniga is wanted by two clubs, which is good, because we've got to get rid of him, because he doesn't want to be here. Who does he want to buy? Hull? Sure. On loan? No. Okay, so, um, we, oh, here we go, Man City won the Capital One Cup, they beat Stoke. There we go. And Fraser Foster, not recommended to be selected. There you go, so he won't be appearing in today's game. But I will show you the squad that will be taking on Arsenal into this game in just one second. So give me a sec. Radio, so this is the team that is going to take on uh, Arsenal today. Since this is important, we've got um, pretty much our full strength team. Uh, Stekelenburg in goal. Bertrand and Cedric on the wings. Van Dijk and Jose Font in the middle of our defensive line. Tadek and Mane, Alba on the wings in our midfield. Uh, Ward Prowse, Wanyama in the centre mid roles. And we have Wami and Pele up front being our strike duo. Um, as you can see, Ashley Cole's back. Um, he'll be able to play. That um, match sharpness is down, so it's Gazaniga, but he won't be getting game time. Sure. So um, this is our team that we're taking on Arsenal with. Let's take a look at Arsenal's team. Um, so as so 
Uh, a win here for Arsenal with the game in hand will put them up to second. A win here for us will put us into sixth and almost into uh, qualification spot. Sorry. So um, they have Petr Cech. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 wide. Theo Walcott. Uh, Ertzil, Oxlade Champion, a Chamberlain on the wing. Yeah, it looks like a pretty strong team. Murder Saka. Uh, alrighty, team talk. Short look at the morale. Everyone's happy. Everyone's at least good, which is fine. It's good with me. The game's on the way, and ooh, no. I've got to uh, slow it down. Sorry. I like to uh, sort of speed through the games. Right, yeah. Bertrand into Ward Prowls. Bertrand. Ward Prowls. It's Pele. With the ball. Mane. Pele. Pele scores. That's 50 seconds in. Graziano Pele with the f his fifth goal for the year. And his 100th of his career, I believe. It just said. Go 1 0 up very early. Um, now we're in the fourth minute. Graziano Pele. Um, Arsenal had a midweek fixture. I had a game against, I had the game, a game in the um, Champions League, so they're probably not quite at full strength, which makes this game slightly easier for us. And as you can see, Alexis, well, as you saw earlier, Alexis Sanchez was out, or is out, and Jose Font, good effort. We have another chance here, Cedric would throw in, but, you know, they steal it from us. Theo Walcott, but we steal the ball back. Wami, Mane, excellent. Ertzil, oh, Walcott's got the ball, he's running through, one on one, almost. Wami, out to Pele, and that's sort of probably going to be it. They have the ball close to a goal, Monreal, Metsu, Ertzil, off the post. This has been a really exciting first 10 minutes. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. It's, it feels too slow. Chamberlain. Kazor Bellerin. I can't say half of these names. Ramsey, that's a good one. Oh, it's in. Hector Bellerin. Two goals this year. It was offside. I'm calling it now. It says 1-1. One, one. Probably doing very well here. We only need the draw, really, to leap probably into 6th. So a loss here. Oxlade Chamberlain. Six goals this year. And they've put themselves ahead. Petr Cech with the big kick out. But we've got the ball, Mane. Juan Mi. That's Pele. Pele's got it, but Cech. Beautiful save. Or browse with the corner. We do nothing with it because we're... We don't do anything with corners because that's our job. Um, we give it to the other team. Cedric, Juan Mi. Back to Cedric. Ooh. Lost it. Walcott. Mess with Ertzil. Bellerin. Goal scorer. Um, we are... Uh, they look like... Looks like they've got numbers, but Ertzil. Ooh. Sholly kick. So it looks like... At this point, Arsenal's going to take a 2-1 lead into the half. Unless we can do something, let's go attacking. Because I like attacking football. Playing attacking football. The uh, mentality is just standard for this formation if you want to play along at home. Um, and make your own formation of it. Mane, oh god. Why is every game that I record, we get a yellow card? It's the way it works in this, isn't it? Uh, but it is going to be a one goal deficit into the half for us. Arsenal 2, Southampton 1. Let's get the second half underway. Second half underway. Of course, this early exchange all fouled from Pele. He gets a yellow. And they take a quick free kick, but nothing comes of it because we're great. So, um, one Yum has picked up a yellow card. This is three for us. Mr. Kellenberg, beautiful save. Once again, I mention every single episode, but he's a good goalkeeper. It'll be good to keep him here. 
Oh, we need a new backup. New third choice. Youngin. Because, um... Gazanig is gone. Oh, Walcott, he was... Oh! Theo Walcott. It's a bit much. 3-1 down. Walcott again! Walcott, the hat-trick, I think. Did he get a hat-trick? I'm not sure. But he's got two at least. It's 4-1 now. Walcott again! Oh, Walcott. We've just not done well when it comes to playing against Walcott. We have a chance here, though. Wami. Wanyama, Wami. Back to Mane. Into Ward Prowse. Wanyama out to the wing to Cedric Pele. He was onside. Pele with two. With 4 2 down. Ramsey. Good shot. Straight. Straight into Stekellenberg. Cross in for Virgil and Dyke. Nothing comes of it. That's what Ertzil, Bellerin. Stekellenberg. Good. Good save. So, um. They've got another chance. Walcott. He's been dangerous today. Offside Chamberlain. Bellerin. Ramsey. Ramsey in the corner. Two goals this year. Well, they're going to start 5 2. Now they bring on some. Substitutes. Looks like we're going to have to do the same. We've got any chance. Bertrand, Pele, Bertrand. Good save from Czech. Uh, we get the ball back though, Wanyama. But Mertesacker is right there. Walcott, 1v1. That's 3 for Walcott. 6-2. It's just a murder. So I would say, I mean, it's just been a Horrible game for us. Jordi Classy, you're abysmal. Come on. Can't be any worse than what we've got. Um. Sorry, it's just been a really boring match to watch. It's like super, super duper wrecked. Walcott, Welbeck. Nice try from Welbeck. Stegallenberg, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Walcott, almost has the ball again. Um, Walcott, uh, the media did say that we were the worst conceding side in the game, or in the league. So that means we concede all the goals. Um, Walcott, and almost another goal for Walcott, he's just been great. Mane, Wami, Pele. Pele almost had three. Mane out to Wami. Wami with a good shot, but straight off check to De Debucci. Well, it looks like murder at Anfield. It's probably what the uh, headlines will read. Cedric. Mane. Wami with a shot. Straight to Jordi Classy, Pele, Wami, Pele. Good shot, but doesn't connect. Uh, Monreal into Walcott, straight off to Kellenberg. Kellenberg, wow. Wanyama. But nothing happens there. Pele. We lose the ball again. Walcott. Walcott's just had so many chances. I want to see his stats. What was... I want to see how many shots Walcott's taken. Or Prowse. Wami. Nothing. And it looks like this will be the end of the match. And we're going to lose. And lose badly. Alright, let's speed it up. Corner. Nothing boring. Wanyam is off with the ball. Mane. Yep. See, see how much easier it is to tolerate this match like this? Because nothing will happen. Look at that. Now, Emirates, sorry, not Anfield. Emirates. Play too much on. Too much with Liverpool. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at Arsenal's stats. How many shots? Cross attempts. Pass completed. Pass attempts. Headers one. Key headers. Deception made. Shots. Walcott took 12 shots, and 8 of them were on target. 
that's a bit ridiculous. So 6-2, Hector Bellerin in the 11th, well, Pele in the 1st, Hector Bellerin in the 11th. Bring that back, please. Uh, yeah, Bellerin in the 11th. Oxlade Chamberlain, Chamberlain in the 24th, Walcott 54th, 56th, 69th, Ramsey in the 65th, Pele in the 61st. It's a murder. We we really did not stand a chance. Um, Newcastle lost, of course. West Brom lost. No, West Brom won. So uh, West Ham are in a bit of trouble. But uh, I'll be back in a sec to wrap up the video. So that brings to an end today's episode. A disappointing episode of uh, Let's Play Football Nature 2016 with Southampton. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. I'm on Twitter, follow me at the Chewy Apple, capital T, capital C, capital A. Use hashtag Chewy Apple 31 when sharing. Next episode, Crystal Palace. Gonna play Crystal Palace because it's sort of in the middle. So that means there'll be four games West Brom, Liverpool, Newcastle, and West Ham. Um, and then we'll play Stokes, Swansea, Man United, Tottenham, and Aston Villa before the final game. Everton away at where they play. Goodison Park. Um, so, the race to see if we can make it into the top. We need to be in the top five to guarantee a spot. Um, which is going to be tough. But because Man City's already qualified, their spot will go to Norwich. So we only really need to get to sixth. Cause, oh, no, they won the Capital One Cup. I'm not sure if the Capital One Cup gets qualification. I'll find out. Hang on. Give me a second. So, um just found here um, before we end I'm um, to get qualifi qualification to Europa League so that means we only have to finish sixth and we'll get qualification which is good and um, I want to see how the FA Cup is going can I do that FA Cup can I not English FA Cup there we go um English FA Cup. There we go. So, um, the winners of this, I believe, get qualification. Oh, because I'm not final. Winners qualify for Europa League. Um, and uh, who's still in it? Uh, Man City. Man City win it. I mean, that's amazing. But it won't be Man City. So, um, thank you again for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.